There's four teams heading into the <laughs> Final Four on Saturday for anyone following NCAA men's basketball. Um, and we're going to bring you some really cool live reports talking to some students who are just as psyched for the games as I am, if that's possible. Probably. You're more psyched than I am. I know. You're the jock out of this anchor team. And, <laughs> and uh, I'm proud of you. And I feel emasculated. And I'm fine with that. Cool. It's not a first time. We're working a lot out here yeah, at the table today. Absolutely. Uh, why don't we go to somebody who's super stoked out in the field. From the University of North Carolina, we are joined by Jordan Black. Hey, Jordan, how's it going there? Hello, how are you guys? We are so excited. We are live here in the pit, which is our center of student life on campus. They actually say that if you sit here for 24 hours, you can see all of UNC's 18,000 undergrads. Here's a pretty good example of everyone walking around, but we are so excited for Saturday and pumped to take on Syracuse. All right, so Jordan, give us a sense now. What was it like on campus when the news came down, everyone was watching the game, and you realized you guys were in the final four? Well, we were beyond excited, to say the least. Everyone was out watching, and everyone, when the clock was ticking down, the last thing you could hear was everyone chanting, Final Four, Final Four. So we were so excited. Haven't been there since 2009, and you all know what happened in 2009. So we're hoping for a repeat of that, but not going to jinx anything over here. Um, but we are more than excited and cannot wait for Saturday. The camp campus is buzzing. You can see everyone walking around here, um, excited to watch the Tar Heels on Saturday night. Now, your school typically, would you say it's, it's, it's very school spirited or do you say this is taking it to a brand new level? Absolutely. We take basketball here very seriously as well as our other sports, of course, but we like to think that we're a basketball school. So we are always super excited to go to any basketball game. You'll see students lining up hours before any game. For example, our rivals down the road at Duke, when we had that game, I was in line about nine hours early just to get in. So we take it really seriously. But now that it's a tournament, I think things are even to a greater extent. We are so excited and you can just feel the energy on campus. Everyone is buying all their final four gear, wearing Carolina blue and just can't even focus on classes. That's how excited we are. <laughs> hey, Jordan, for those of us who can't uh, go down there, or won't get the chance to visit your lovely campus, can you give us a little bit of a tour? Show us where we are and, and what's around there? Absolutely. Like I mentioned, we're in the pit and you can see students walking by behind me going to class. Um, as I mentioned, really the center of campus here. So um, we call it the pit and every day between 11 and 2, organizations are set up promoting um, their upcoming events and their clubs on campus here at the pit. So this is our main area of campus. Um, always students hanging out here. So I'm joined by some Carolina students who are super excited for the game. Um, and behind me, back that way, is where our classes are. Um, we're not really close to the Dean Dome, but not too far of a walk. So whenever anyone wants to go to a basketball game, they can just walk on down to the Dean Dome to watch the basketball team. All right, so let's hear from some of those friends you've got with you there, some of those fellow fans. What do you guys think Absolutely. Tar Heels' chances are against, and specifically against Syracuse's defense? Because you guys rely heavily on Bryce Johnson to get at least, you know, double digits every game. If he can't do that, can you still win? Let's hear from your friends. Absolutely. Um, so they want to know what our chances are against Syracuse, particularly the defense, and hoping to see a good game from Bryce Johnson. But if for some reason Bryce isn't on his A game, what can we expect from the Tar Heels against Syracuse? Um, I think first off, Marcus Page is back. He struggled early in the season, but even if Bryce Johnson's having a bad game, you could rely on Marcus now. And he, as a senior, he's a leader on our team. And I mean, everyone talks about Syracuse's defense, the 2-3 zone, but I think Johnson, one of his underrated moves is the turnaround jumper. So he's really going to find some soft spots in the middle of the zone, probably around the elbows and stuff. I think he can do a lot of damage from there. So I don't think there's no, no slowing down Bryce Johnson. Now, oh, am I going? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, no, I think that even if he's having an off day, I think that we can play as a team, and so we're going we're gonna to win. Now you guys are the only. We're gonna win, they say. <laughs> you guys are the only team in the Final Four that was a number one seed. Do you think that's gonna make this a breeze for you guys, or is there any concern that this maybe is a year of upsets, just uh, in many categories, not even just sports, and that perhaps that is something that might lull you into a false sense of security? 
Sure, so they're saying that we are the only Final Four team who was a number one seed. Does that make it easier for us, or is this the year of upsets? What can we expect? Um, I think that just goes to show how how good our team really is. A lot of people said we would be the first one seed to lose, and now we're the only team standing. So I think that just goes to show that we're proving people right that did pick us as a one seed. I mean, we were preseason number one, so we were definitely cream of the crop. And everyone said all year, if we play to our potential, there's no one that can beat us. So as long as we don't beat ourselves, I don't care who we're playing, I think we got a good shot. Yeah, I think that a lot of people were downing us coming into this tournament, but I think that we've done a pretty good job of proving them wrong. So I think that if we play the way we've been playing, we can go all the way. All right, Jordan, last round robin question for you guys, and then we want you all to get to class, because this is not a good excuse, excuse for missing class. Um, That's honestly <laughs> speaking, I'm okay with you guys skipping first. We think it's a good excuse. <laughs> Um, we're good with skipping. Just right, kidding. Just we're we're from, an academic school chair. Let's hear from everybody real quick. How are you going to be watching the game, and what do you do to celebrate if you win and make it to the championship? Absolutely. Um, so where is everyone watching the game, and where are you excited to cheer on the Tar Heels on Saturday? Um, I'm probably going to go to Franklin Street. Uh, there's a lot of bars, and just the scene on Franklin Street is really good on game days. So I'll probably go with the kids that I live with and go there. I know the Dean Dome, our basketball arena, is apparently putting up a huge screen and letting in, I think, even like the general public, not just students. So that should be pretty hype. I might go, I might go the game there. there. I might go there now that I think about it. <laughs> that might be great. Um, I think we were headed for Topo just so that if we win, we'll be close to the action. So as they mentioned, everyone wants to be on Franklin Street, kind of our main street on campus. What's really cool about Franklin Street is if we beat the other team that I mentioned a little bit ago, Duke, um, we rush Franklin Street. About 15,000 students come all the way just to cheer, sing the alma mater, climb poles. And I don't want to jinx anything, but if that happens, that we make it past Saturday onto Monday and happen to win on Monday, the same thing happens, but to an even greater extent. So we're hoping to be on Franklin Street, our main street, all weekend long. Well, here's to hoping you guys get to end up climbing even higher poles and make it all the way to the being the, the victors <laughs> in the NC2A tournament. Thank you so much, Jordan Black from Absolutely. the University of North Carolina.